LP debut of Barry Adamson, X of Magazine and Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. Snub took extracts from the album and shot footage in Manchester to convey some of the record's atmosphere. Barry Adamson takes up the story. Here in Britain, for the past two years, we've been listening to rumours among the West Indian community that the Yardies are operating behind the scenes in several major cities. Police don't know how many, but they suspect there are still relatively few. There are certainly Yardie things in this country at the moment, and they are involved in extortion, they're involved in drugs, uh, they're involved in vice, and we see it as something uh, in the nature of a cancerous growth. Out there, I had the desire to score music for a motion picture. I'd been around a while, and it was getting too late to wish I'd been classically trained or attended film school to achieve this. So I had to draw strength from the fact that my written contributions to the bands I'd been in were usually of a somewhat thematic nature anyway, thus keeping the wheels of my dream firmly in motion. As a bass player, I travelled the world twice over, perhaps even then subconsciously searching for some kind of subject matter that would spark off the necessary inspiration to fully express the area of creativity I was most impassioned about. It was when I returned home to Manchester, to the Moss Side streets I'd known since my childhood, that things fell into place. Here, right on my own doorstep, was one of the most contrasting, intense, exciting and threatening of filmic backdrops. You have nothing to worry about, Mr. Adamson. I promise. I won't breathe a word. As a vehicle, I observed and used the confines of Moss Side's underworld, noting particularly the movements of a character who was gripped by fear and paranoia, a virtual prisoner of his own mind, desperately looking for a seemingly impossible way out. Here was the impetus to musically stage a provocative, visually stimulating, three-act tale of one man's search for lost identity and of his eventual quest for beauty, truth, and freedom.